Hey, what's up guys? This is Debarshi here, your Autistic Tech Boy, back with another upgrade video. In this video, we are going to be upgrading my 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Right now, it's only got four gigabytes of DDR3, which is pretty low for 2019. We're gonna be upgrading it to 16 gigabytes today. It's a very easy upgrade, so just follow along. If you watched the last video, you already know how to open up the back of of a MacBook Pro. It's actually pretty simple. All you've got to do is use a Phillips screwdriver. I'm not going to bore you guys with such details. Once you get it open, if you haven't already, make sure that your battery is unplugged while you're doing this. You'll see these two RAM sticks right here. We're going to pop them out in a second. My specific brand of RAM is HyperX by Kingston, and it's 1600 megahertz RAM because my model 2012 MacBook Pro supports up to 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz RAM. Make sure that the frequency of your RAM is supported by your system. So right here, we have our two RAM chips. You can take these stickers off if you want, but you really don't have to. All you gotta do is pull those prongs a little bit like that. These things will just easily pop out. So this is four gigabytes of RAM, a two gigabyte stick, and another two gigabyte stick. We're gonna put these to the side. Maybe we'll sell them on eBay later. These right here are two eight gigabyte sticks of DDR3 RAM. All you've gotta do to put them in, you've got this notch right here. You want it to match. Be very careful, pull those prongs. All right, we got the first stick in. Now, we just put that second stick in. Got the notch secured almost. Okay, now we've placed it in. Make sure this thing clicks. And voila, when both of those click in, you can tell we're done. As you can see, the RAM is secured by this latch. And if I ever want to pull it out, all I have to do is pull on both of these levers. So that's it for this one, guys. It's a very short tutorial, but I do recommend upgrading to at least eight gigabytes of RAM on these systems. Eight gigabytes should be more than enough for most people. If you are doing a lot of video editing and a lot of graphic design and whatnot, go for 16 gigabytes because that is the max these Unibody MacBook Pros, uh, particularly the ones from 2012, can take. This has been Debarshi and come back to my next tutorial where we will be uh, either killing the computer or repasting the thermal paste. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.